Oh my gosh, my gosh, my friends, look what I have here. Humongous chocolate chip cookie that I made. What do you think of this? Go for it, guys. Get a nice bite. We're going to try this and see how it tastes. You know what? Because I had a craving for a chocolate chip cookie. And I said, oh my goodness, I'm not going to just make a cookie. I'm going to make a huge cookie. And I'm going to get rid of this craving that I have. So yeah, you guys go ahead. Get that first bite. Go in for that cookie, my friends. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. What are we going to do with all this cookie? Well, we'll start eating it. Mmm. Who likes cookies? Oh my God. I can taste the butter, the sugar, the chocolate chips, the vanilla, all the outrageous flavors that come from a chocolate chip cookie. And I didn't just use vanilla. I use the vanilla paste. Have you ever seen the vanilla paste? Oh my gosh. It's so, so good. It's outrageous. Let me get another bite of this. Mm. Take a look at that. Don't tell me it doesn't make you want a cookie. I know it does. And I'm going to sit here and eat the whole thing. Can I do it? You think I can do it? I think I can. Mmm. So I thought I'd have a mukbang. Whoops, trying to lower you. I thought I'd have a mukbang and that I'd have a mukbang with a huge cookie. Yes, ma'am. Or yes, sir. Yes, I did. I have my LaCroix drink, which is always good. And it's not too sweet, so it goes really, really good with cookies for sure. Because cookies are so sweet. This is like being a little girl in a cookie factory. can't just stop at one bite, guys. Go ahead. Get that bite in. Take that bite. Mmm. Mmm. Unless you make a cookie and you make it with the best ingredients of the pure butter and the pure vanilla you're not making a cookie. Gotta use the real things, guys. So anyway, I'm heading out to go get my baby. It's vegan baby Nino's. Not vegan. Ugh. I say that all the time. I'm heading out to go get the baby, baby Nino. 
I don't know what we're gonna do today. I think I'm going to take him to Walmart's. They have, um, I don't know if you've seen them or not, but they have um, eggs. I don't know what they're made out of. Maybe like a plastic and they're white and it looks just like eggs. Um, and you can color them and you can keep them if you're into keeping the colored eggs once you dye them. But my daughter dyed the eggs last night with the kids and I had gotten her some of the um, plastic, I guess, eggs. They're not really plastic. They look just like an egg. <laughs> and she said, such a good idea getting those kind of eggs for the baby because he had a blast. But of course he was dropping them and, you know, um, trying to bump them on the table. So, yeah, so I thought I'd go back and get some more today. They even have ones that are charcoal and, um, or they called them char charcoal, but you can use um, chalk on them, like a like a chalkboard, you know. So I think I'll go back today and get those. And little chilly today. The weather changed just a little bit. It's a, definitely a little colder than it was. So I don't think I can take them to the park. But I'll do something really fun with him just to get him out and, you know, let him have a, a good time. And I don't think Bella will be coming because Bella already called and said, Honey, they call me Honey, yes, Bella, who Bella is 10 now. Can you bring us McDonald's? I get that at least once every weekend. They like McDonald's and mama don't like to take them to McDonald's too often, you know. So they call me and see if I'll go do it for them. So yeah, I'll do that for them. I don't mind. And that's it. I may take the baby. It's a nice day to take the baby for a Dairy Queen. Yeah, get him a little Dairy Queen. We'll sit outside there do something, you know, that we get some fresh air besides just walking in, uh, uh, in, in the store in Walmart. And should I save this cookie for the baby? Should I wait for him to come and eat it with him? I don't think so. <laughs> no way. You know what that baby would be doing? He'd be bouncing off the walls. Not going to happen. Of course, I'm going to take this cookie. I'm going to eat a little more. And then I'm going to take this cookie and I'm going to take it over to my kids. Because they'll really enjoy it, you know? So, alright guys, I'm not going to make this mukbang too long. Um... I just wanted to show you my huge cookie. I couldn't decide, did I wanna make cookies out of it? And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do something really easy. <laughs> and this is the easiest way for sure. I just put them all together and smashed it, you know, you smash it into the pan and I had um, a round pan and I put it on the pan. And uh, this is actually two batches of cookies that I made. So yeah, it was easy peasy. This is a really nice um, birthday. A lot of kids like this for as their cake and you just write on it, happy birthday. Um, uh, I think it was Bella that had this one year she wanted this and I had Junie my boy the 17 year old 
one year he had me make this for him for his birthday. And you know, you give it to them and they think, oh my goodness, it's all mine. I can eat that whole thing. They take a couple bites and they're done, of course. But this is, this is nice, like I said, for a birthday. I'll tell you what else I do with this, which the kids really, really love. I take it and I break it up in, into pieces, like, um, or I cut it into like pizza. And then we put either nice cream, which is a banana ice cream, or I put just regular ice cream on top. Now this is for really, um, once in a great while treat. I'll put the ice cream on top and then we'll either put like sprinkles on it or we'll put a little bit of caramel, chocolate, whatever. Put a cherry on top. Oh my God, they think you just gave them a million dollars when you do something like that for them. Little things like this, you know, go such a long way as when you're trying to please kids. But anyway, let's end this mukbang because I have some children waiting for me. And yeah, I'll see you again. I don't know if I'll see you tonight for another mukbang, but I'll definitely see you tomorrow for sure. All right, until I see you again, this is Hungry Mama Me, and I'm sending all my love your way and subscribe comment like don't forget to push that little bell button right there so you can get all my notifications and have a very blessed day today just the beginning of the day here for us so you have a blessed day and until i see you again I'll be seeing ya.